Hey video guys, so I'm coming at you with another video in my Mavic series, making videos really controversial, kinda. And today we are talking about, are, do all Asian Americans think the same? Spoiler, no, but let's get into it. But first, if you're new to my channel, what up, my name is Mitch, hey Mitch, Mitch, Mavic, Mitch, all the Mitches, and pretty much I like talking about what I like talking about. So when it comes to pop culture, reviews, and current events within the scope of entertainment, culture, and purpose, yeah, I got everything from movie reviews to like just general topics and social commentary and the political realm. I got everything, so be sure to check those videos as you are finishing this video. So, I mean, it is still May, it, which means it is still Asian Pacific American History Month, and I kind of want to talk about it. I mean, with the last few days we have here in May, I just wanted to talk about this larger topic about the Asian Americans and the community and things that we talk about. And so, like, I already have done videos about, like, our Asian values, conservative values, and as well as, you know, the top three Asians, Asian American actors you need to see in 2020. So. Obviously, I wanted to talk about this and continue the discussion and more so talk about in the larger scheme of like larger topics. Like maybe not so much like Confucius, like deep, deep philosophical topics. Like I would love to do that. I think there's an idea of what art of war that I would love to talk about, like East versus West philosophies that I would love to get into, but not today. So what I want to do is think about like, uh, like in the mindset of Asian Americans and how we like the question is, do we all think the same? And like I said, the answer is no. So I kind of want to touch base on that. So this video came from two ideas. It came from Jubilee's video they pushed out last year, which is again, do all Asian Americans think the same? And then as well as the Fung Bros put out a video a month or so ago saying like, do Asians need to do more for America in, res in response to Andrew Yang, in response to, you know, what's happening in the general things around, like the cough cough that's going around type thing. But I mean, like, do we have to be more American? American as Asians, right? And so like I wanted to touch upon those items and bring it all together and into this video All right, so going into the Jubilee video like I'm gonna just touch upon like three topics They talked about right or three questions. They talked about right. So yeah Asian food is better than so I'm gonna be real neutral on this because I like food, whether it's like tacos or pasta or chow mein or pho or dim sum or I don't know, like kebabs and hummus and lumpia and like adobo and sinigang and kara kara. Like I like all my food. Like so like I can't say uh, which food I want to have more. So I'm gonna be really neutral and stay in the middle. Asian I'm gonna look at this in a different way, and, and the the character, the person Jonathan, he he's like a comedian, so he, I like his response to it. I'm are funny. <laughs> I feel like oh wait, somewhat disagree. Yeah. <laughs> okay, We're not well, judging. You can choose what was the decision head, making in your head during well, that. Well, my <laughs> head is like stereotypes are a reflection of perceived behavior, and also I I write comedy. And so I'm constantly thinking of ways to maybe subvert a stereotype to get a laugh. I feel like it's always dangerous though because you never know if the joke is going to be perceived as like, oh, they're making fun of the stereotype or they're reinforcing the stereotype. But even then you're saying like the stereotype itself is not funny, but your subversion of it is. Okay. So I'm gonna say like, are stereotypes funny? No, but it's in, it's in the context in which they are delivered. Like, like I would point into like a Jokoi, right? And so like him alluding to Asian American or Filipinos and, and our experiences, and it comes out as funny the way he delivers it. So in that instance, it is funny, but like if you're gonna do it in a derogatory term, of course it's not funny, right? So yeah. Asian. So for this question, most deaf. Like as someone who is very much into culture and heritage and tradition, like I'm gonna, that's that's a strongly agree, right? And so, yeah, I mean, I would, it, I think that's when it comes to, and this kind of goes into the next topic about like how Asian Americans really think this differently because we are so, I, me being Filipino and like, I'm gonna shout out to all the Filipino Americans in the Air Force and in the military. We did like a whole like, collaborative like uh, bebo challenge and everything and so like that was really cool and we have so much pride and we have so much culture that we want to express and sh um, share it um, and express and 
share. And so I think it's really like I think that's especially when it, when it comes to the Filipinos, it's really intrinsic in, in in our value system and in our experience. And so yeah. So next, I want to like go into the Fung Bros and like get into their discussions because I think it gets really kind of deep and a little bit more in depth in discussion. So I'll I'll, I'll go there. What are some of the reasons why Asians kind of didn't step up for other minorities? We don't even have any organization to say whether or not we should support somebody or not. It was almost like not even a discussion. You could argue that we don't even have a real community. I'm just bringing up a structural fact. And also to be honest, Asians are just not that political period. So they don't even come out for even other Asian causes oftentimes. Asians actually have the lowest voting rate out of any group in America. And so 100%, I, I think that is true and I think that is valid and I think those are great points and because you know when it comes when I was thinking about this question and when I was thinking and analyzing it in my head and and, and comment below tell me what you think right and so one it is like one it's like culture and language right when it comes to like African Americans they have this a uh, uh, shared experience same thing with Latinos Hispanics they have a shared language but when it comes to Asian Americans it, yo, we are different. Like, I, I mean, East Asian is different from Southeast Asian, from different from South Asian, and some different from Central Asian, right? We are so different. It, it makes sense that we don't have a like a centralized voice because the Filipino experience by ourselves is so vastly different from any other of the Asian countries. Because we were a Spanish colony, you know, we we were introduced with Western values and all this stuff, and. You know, for better or for worse, right? And you, you can comment like all that stuff too. But I mean, our like we don't have a unifying language, right? We don't have a unifying shared experience. Like we're all Asian Americans, and and I think that's such a valid statement, you know. So what does that mean for us, like in a political realm ish? Because he he like Andrew does mention it. Like you know, he was saying like we, um, Asian Americans are like the least politically active and that's true because I'm like looking online about Asian American voices and in at least in the conservative movements and there's not enough on YouTube but I mean it, what does that mean I think for Asian Americans because our we come from all various different backgrounds I think there needs to be a shared like value system in which that there isn't really nece there isn't there right but like I say that because like let's say in the military right um when when you can work with like Japanese Americans and Chinese and Filipinos and all this stuff and then because we have a shared like military um, in this in this case Air Force core values like we can come together because we have a shared mission right we have a shared value system that even though we have different backgrounds and it's not just Asian Americans we can go with like anyone Latinos whatever but like the fact that we can have diversity but the only way that our diversity works is that we have a common shared values within the scope of the military and this again like in the scope of the, uh, like Air Force right and so for to for that to translate to um, Asian Americans, and I think this is why I, I want to lean towards conservatives because it there's an idea of um, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that we can all that we can all gravitate towards, you know. And like you can be Asian, you can be like Chinese, Filipino, Vietnamese, Lao, Hmong, uh, Pakistani, you know. You can be all of this stuff, and then if we have shared values, right, we can we can use our experiences and, and come together and have like a common belief system at least for America right we don't have to sacrifice and that kind of goes into their question do we have to be more American as Asian right but like if we are we don't have to sacrifice our heritage to be American especially if America is an idea of life pursuit like life liberty and pursuit of happiness right if these values are what intrinsically are, are we fighting for then we don't have to sacrifice our quote-unquote Asian-ness right and so I don't know I think the those are really cool ideas and I, I want to elaborate on that because I'm, I'm really talking on the fly here but I but I what I said here, I think I, I resonate and really genuinely gravitate towards. And so, yeah. 
So I'll probably put more thought and discussion on this, but I did want to touch a I did want to touch on those topics. And yeah, so if you come this far, thanks again for watching. Let me know what you think about everything that I talked about, even from the Jubilee um, questionings and all the stuff into the Fung Bros. Let me know what you think, and I'll link those videos below. And yeah, just like add to the conversation and add to the discussion here. So see you in the next video again. Thanks for watching. You can follow me in my Instagram at HeyMitch. You can follow my joint Instagram at It's Mandatory Fun where I do other videos with my friend Jen. And again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you. All the ones you told me Am I reading something different from your eyes?